Hey, hey guys, welcome back. It is a Sunday night and I'm pumped to be watching Roxanne. Okay, this is a top tier patron pick. I believe it's from the 80s. The only thing I know is that song that's like from Moulin Rouge, but I actually think it's from another movie, like Roxanne. <laughs> but I think that's probably from this movie. So, and I think it's about a stripper. Is this movie about a stripper? I know Steve Martin's in it, which I just, I love him because the father of the bride movies are like my comfort movies, some of them. Other than that, I have no idea what it's about. May or may not be a stripper in the red light district or something. I don't know. As always, I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. I still can't believe this is happening and growing and the support is just, just so nice and I truly appreciate it. Okay, so let's get started and remember, it's always super helpful if you like and subscribe and you can always watch full length reactions as well as be part of a fun community that helps me pick the movies I'm gonna watch, early access and just really good discussion and comments over there. So you can always head on over to my Patreon. Okay, let's get started. Is he a police officer? Hey! Off the sidewalk! Now, come on! It's a cop! Is that a joke? Wait a minute. He's a fireman! Ah! Oh, he's a fireman. Got a wide swath, pussy. What's these guys' deal? Quite a hood ornament you got there, pal. <laughs> well, here it comes! Uh -huh. <laughs> 3D coming at you! I really admire your shoes. What do you mean? Is that his real nose? And I, I really wouldn't want to be in your shoes. And he was having such a good day with his little walking song. What kind of movie is this? Is this a comedy? Let's play again sometime. Come here, Grover. I mean, that's like a cartoon nose. I'm gonna have you neutered. Ah! Ah! God! What was that? I feel like I would rip my robe Brother, and, rather than run buck naked around my house, but you know. God damn it, we're supposed to put them out! Oh, what now? I would like the people of this community to feel that holding the fire department would actually be a wise thing to do. <laughs> oh Hello? my gosh. I'm locked out of my house. Get some tools. I don't have any clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Need any help, Chief? Ah, uh, it looks pretty boring. I'll take care of it. Right. So he's the chief. You can hide over in that bush over there and I won't see your nakedness. Notice you don't have any tattoos. I don't think Jackie Onassis would have gone as far if she'd had an anchor on her arm. <laughs> this uh, lock doesn't accept master charge. He has a toolbox with one credit card in. <sighs> He's got his hands in his pocket. God's sake, put something on. I'm averting my eyes. Oh, look what you got me into, Grover. Thanks. Come in. I, uh, sort of, uh, already did. What? <laughs> Do you have a straw? Oh, he can't drink it with his nose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not the movie I was expecting. Telescope. Telescope. Beautiful. I like it when they give astronomical objects names. Andromeda, Saturn. You know what a quark is? No. No one's actually ever seen a quark, but we know they exist. Uh, these are uh, astronomical objects, then? No, subnuclear particles. I thought so. What are you looking for? I can't tell you. It's a secret. 
I feel like Steve Martin is just always this age. Did he ever have not white hair? Roxanne. There's a name for a galaxy. They make his nose look so amazing. Like real. Well, wish me luck. On. Just luck. Wish for something to happen. I know what you mean. Bye. Oh. Oh my goodness. The party time, Maestro. Weren't you playmate of the month, June 85? Because I thought I recognized your inner diameter slope. Ugh. Part of the back of your leg that curves into your inner thigh. Works every time, Maestro. Arguable. I want something that says action with style. I like that guy. Time, Mayor Deeves. We didn't expect you till Monday. Dean, Trent, my personal Taylor Sam. <laughs> hey, what about your boyfriend? When's he coming? He's not. What happened? I guess I mistook sex for love. Oh, I did that once. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Roxanne was like a mom in something I watched recently. Who's that? That's Roxanne. Oh, you might do something about that. Maybe later. We're well, playing it beautifully. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi. It's a tradition we have here to consume some mulled wine and enjoy some outdoor hot tubbing. I'm sorry, I just have to stop talking right now. If you change your mind, just come on over. Well, if I do change my mind, you'll know because my breasts will be heaving and moist with perspiration. So long. Later. He's got a great ass. Um, too bad it's on his shoulders. <laughs> oh, it's cute. But I thought Charlie likes her. just happened? He just won't come down. Hey, what's the trouble, Peter? Come Aww. on, what's the matter? They call me Porky at school. Why do they have to do that? God damn it. I shouldn't say that in front of you. Freaking bullies. Just quit it. Bastards. Oh, I shouldn't say that before oh. you. <laughs> oh, Peter. Hi, I'm the Andy. Yeah, good to meet you. I just wanted to welcome you. Okay, thanks a lot. So, okay. I think I discovered a comet. So, uh, what do you get if you're right? I get to name it. Well, that's pretty good. <gasps> Roxanne's Comet. Comet Kowalski. Oh. Kowalski? That's my name. Roxanne Kowalski? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look now, but the Viking just came in. Don't look! Oh, God, it's him. Right. Shake hands with me. I'm the mayor. It'll make you look important. <laughs> he should be bronzed. Yeah. <laughs> Run outside and puke again? Get a hold of yourself. God. When it comes out, I'll invite him to me. I'll be able to imagine. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I kind of love it when the hot guy is nervous around girls. You know, makes them cuter. Oh. Hi. Hi. Remember me? I'm trying to put it behind me. Is this your shop? Yeah. All things dead. Why don't you come in and check out the new freeze-dried animals? Mm. Oh. CD! It came to me last night. It's the Nelson promotional cow. You put a picture in the corner of our posters, oh, no, drinking a beer. These oh. things work. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic idea. It came to me last night. What an idea! He saw it ripe on the tree. He plucked it and he put it in his pocket. This guy's such a character. I love it. <laughs> He's so happy. Hey, where are you going, big nose? Uh-oh. Do we just have a Marty McFly chicken moment? You've got someone standing in front of you with this, and all you can think up is big nose. I suppose you could think of something better. Whatever number you hit, that's how many I'll think of. 20. Darts champion. Come on, Charlie, you can do it. 20 so here goes. Excuse me, is that your nose or did a bus park on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Pinocchio. You could de-emphasize your nose if you wore something larger, like Wyoming. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, just the three of us. Your nose was on time, but you were 15 minutes late. Uh, pardon me, sir, some of the ladies have asked if you wouldn't mind putting that thing away. <laughs> Laugh and the world laughs with you. Sneeze and it's goodbye Seattle. Would you mind not bobbing your head? The uh, orchestra keeps changing tempo. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his nose. 
feel like the town loves him. You must love the little birdies to give them this to perch on. When you stop and smell the flowers, are they afraid? Finally, a man who can satisfy two women at once. <laughs> This is how to handle it. This is how to handle the bullies, Peter. Keep that guy away from my cocaine. <laughs> it must be wonderful to wake up in the morning and smell the coffee in Brazil. One more, one more. Your name wouldn't be Dick, would it? You smart ass son of a bitch. <laughs> Ow. Has he fallen yet? Did that copy of um, Jumbo Sartre? Yes, it did. I got it right here. Great. Therefore, my body is a conscious structure of my consciousness. Thanks, Chris. I was too embarrassed to go in there and ask for it myself. Aw, I like Chris. You like her, don't you? What's not to like? Why don't you ask her out? I've got a 3 o'clock, I've got a 5 <laughs> o'clock, mostly because of the old saying. Oh, yeah? What old saying? You know the old saying about a man's nose? How the size of a man's nose relates to the size of his... <gasps> oh, oh, my God. God! I love doing that to them. He's so sweet. I see couples walking along, holding hands, and I think, uh, hey, why not me? And then uh, I catch my shadow on the wall. You should have stayed last night. We were impressed. Especially Roxanne. She went on and on about you. And I think she's fallen in love, but she doesn't know it yet. Oh, don't give the poor man hope, though, if that's not for real. <laughs> he just dances everywhere. CD, this is uh, Chris McConnell. Hey, it's a real pleasure meeting you. I, uh, I know you've uh, met the guys. Chris, get it together. Get it together, Chris. It's huge. Aren't you gonna kill me? The, the guy said that... Not today. Why not? Because yesterday, she didn't. But today, she does. Oh, no, don't get your hopes up. I finally got a sense of humor about your nose, huh? Oh! He does have a sense of humor about it. Now the secret to moving a hose is in the rhythm. One, two, three. They can't really be that bad. Come on. Remember, water is your friend. Remember, I like Big Bird. That's right, boy. Why is the mayor? Is this volunteers? <laughs> Hey, Charlie, can I talk to you? Ooh. All right. Oh, no. What I'm going to say is a little forward. She's going to ask him about Chris. There's someone I think I should get to know better. Know what I mean? I think he wants to talk to me. Well, maybe uh, this guy needs you to make the first move. Oh, this is going to kill him and me. So why are you telling me this? He works for you. His name's Chris McConnell. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a dagger. This time I want you to do it, Dave. I want you to cut the thing off. I want to look like Diana Ross. Have you ever thought that you were born with his nose for a reason? Like opening Coke bottles. Oh, poor guy. Could I look at those nose cards one more time? Oh, yeah. This is actually heartbreaking. She wants to meet me. You sure? God, my third day here. <laughs> <laughs> So what do I do? How do I meet her? I wanted to talk to her the other night real bad, but that's how I would have talked to her. Bad. So in other words, every time you meet a woman, you're going to turn around and run the other direction? That's what he does. Tough game, eh, ladies? We're just on our way there. <laughs> you know what carpe diem is? Kind of fish? Fish bait? What? No. <laughs> okay, light the thing. Oh, boy. I feel like that's going to be too big of a fire for them. I'm going to write her a letter. You see, this way I can I can plan out what to say. I can be ever goddamn Besson. We can't get it started. <laughs> I'll be out in a minute. Oh boy. Ah, yeah, I got it. No, 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 not the gasoline. Not the gasoline. Can I help you? Yes, I have a, a friend who was uh, looking for a cosmetic. Well, what specifically is it for? <laughs> she has this feature. I see. She's got this extra large feature. Well, I think a dark contour would be fine. I'll take it. Hi, Charlie. Hi. I talked to Chris for you. You think he's going to call me or something? He wants to write you a letter. Oh. Oh, I can't take this. I thought you should read the letter before I send it. Great. Great. Okay, oh, we'll take a look at it. That's a giant fish. 
Litter? I think it's I think it's really good. It's gonna be so bad. I just know it. Want to have a drink sometime? If you do, check this box. <laughs> How long did you work on this? Since noon. It's a very long time. You can't sing to this. Well, what do you mean? So here's what we're gonna do. How do you feel about her? Well, you've never talked to her. Horny. <laughs> okay. Moved. Alive. On fire. CD, you write the letter. And I'll, I'll sign it. That's not okay. Look, I'll just sign my name, and you write to Roxanne what you imagine I'm feeling. It'll work. It's practically half written already. No, 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 no. For Roxanne, you need something startling. I think it'd be an interesting challenge. He's Tom Sawyering him. Is this more training? Six and a half minutes. Now that's not bad. Right. You're <laughs> this is like a circus show. Operation Snowball. Let's go. like they're doing it on purpose. Oh, this is Snowball. Oh my god. Someone's up there twirling. <laughs> they're so ashamed. Let me show you a double binary. Oh, yeah. Two pairs of stars revolving around each other. Strange attractors in my window of possible movement. This is something from a letter I got. Oh, yeah? An amazing letter. Whose letter? Chris? It's not fair. What do you want me to do? Ask him out for you? <laughs> she wants a date? Baby, it's all because of you. Hey, 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 come on. Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? She wants to see me tonight? Yeah. He's having a panic attack. Guy, you gotta help me. If I talk to her, I'll die. We're gonna think of something now. Oh, dear heavens. You wanna sit outside? Do I wanna sit outside? Yes. Oh my gosh, he's got a microphone in his ear. It is an exquisite evening, filled with magic and romance. Why are you wearing that hat? But don't panic, stay calm, stay calm. I am a hunter. But why didn't you say you just burned your ear at the fire department? Am I your prey? You are a lioness. I can't handle this. Car three, car three, proceed to the 279. What? <laughs> <laughs> car three, confirm? Uh, uh, confirm my feelings. Because there is a heart here that wants yours to know that there's a possible 502 on Main, proceed to Main. <laughs> You're not a hunter anymore? Uh. This is too much. I loved your letter. It seemed very extemporaneous. Say something. Something wonderful like in your letter. Oh boy. Tell me about the night. The night, uh. The night? Is very extemporaneous. Say something romantic. What a weird thing to say. <laughs> Why do birds suddenly appear? Isn't that from a song? <laughs> Mayday. Mayday. You use your own words. Uh. Oh my gosh, leave the poor kid alone. You have great body. Your knockers. Your, no, not your knockers, your breasts. Your breasts are like uh, pillows. Can abort. I, can I abort. Fluff your pillows? Uh, can I fluff your pillows? Okay, I got flustered. I panicked. Look, she wants somebody who looks like me and talks like you. <laughs> He's got it right. That's not fair, though. I don't know. You stand here under the window. I'll whisper to you what to say. Go easy for once in your life. God damn it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on! I was a stupid, bumbling, uh, pointer! Pointer? Why can he not form sentences? Give me your coat, give me your coat. I can't hear you. It's because my words have to rise up. Give me your hat, give me your hat. Oh my goodness. Oh, shit. Your voice sounds different. Then I can see you. No! You don't need to see me, just listen to me. I am in orbit around you. Oh my goodness. I'm suspended, weightless over you. I swore I heard your name and there was nobody there. Just five birds. And when their wings hit the air, I heard your name again. I mean, I like romance, but this might be a little too much for me even. Locks, two syllables locked inside my head. 
He's like, you're setting a precedent that I cannot compete with. It's too much. Yeah. Go on. He doesn't even know her. When you're reaching for a star, there's a long way to fall. I love you. I'm starting to feel a little dizzy, like a leaf on a tree. Oh my gosh. I want to make love to you. Shut up, Chris. What? I was uh, telling myself to shut up. She wants us. She wants us. Come on, Zini, do it, do it. Do what? Roxanne, don't think I haven't felt you beneath me. And I know you've imagined it. I have. This is so that. strange. There's a tiny word. If you said it to me tonight, you and I would be connected by a tunnel of light. What is the word, Chris? Yes. Yes, Chris. I think I'm in love. God, I did it. Oh, shit, I did it. Now he has to know that the woman he loves is... Are you all right? They brought me home. What day is it? Oh, Friday. Dallas is on. Friday. I was walking along. A spacecraft landed right in front of me. Then this door opened. A creature came out. <laughs> this is so random. Took me over to Roxanne's house. That's where they are right now. They wanted to start a colony of supermen who would have sex with older women because they really know what they're doing. Oh, it's been so oh, long. Girls, <laughs> girls, let's go and check it out. <laughs> We're going to miss Dallas. God, I was nervous last night. What do you mean nervous? Uh, nervous. Real nervous. Well, did they do it or what? Couldn't do it for the third time. Huh. Let Octoberfest begin! I don't know, this damn time you can't get any gold here. Shit! Oh my gosh. He was trying so hard. I was right about the comet. Congratulations, that's um, great! Is Chris around? Oh, no, I haven't seen him. I'm gonna be gone about a week. Here's my address. Ask him to write me. Don't call me. Just tell her. Tell her you wrote it. Beer? Yeah. Strap? Put on my sweater and buy good. Oh. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> uh oh. Right. You could be a dealer in Vegas. I know because I went to Tahoe with a girlfriend of mine. We're moving there in three days. He better not put it on her. You know where I really want to go? San Francisco. I've been there. I always take like a meat sandwich with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so great you've traveled. Travel to San Francisco taking a meat sandwich. Next, I bet you're gonna tell me you've been to New York. I've been to New York. He can talk to her. He can actually talk to her. I'm Sandy. Good to meet you. Thanks. They should be together, and Roxanne and CD should be together. He's gonna write her a letter. Oh, he's getting in too deep with her. <laughs> She's falling for him. It's him. It's him. It's him. Could you bring us a bottle of wine, please? Yeah. Confide in Dixie. Then Dixie will tell Roxanne. What can you sit on, sleep on, and brush your teeth with? I don't know. A chair, a bed, and a toothbrush. Sometimes the answer is so obvious that you don't see it. You should tell her. Tell who what? Tell knows. Roxanne that you love her. Hey, Dixie, have you been serving that tripe quiche again? <laughs> that guy's a jerk. Roxanne called. She's coming to town. He picked her up around 6.30. Gotta tell him about the letter! Oh, no. I don't know what there was. Is that a real letter? Yeah. Just a second, Okay. No one there! What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is so silly. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. CD! <laughs> there goes that doorbell again. I think you should answer it. Uh, Chris, there was no doorbell. Don't worry, okay? I'll take care of all this. You wrote her a few letters. I did? How many? Uh, three a day. Twenty. Twenty! <laughs> He wrote her three a day. Do you know why I came back earlier? I can't take it. I had to see you. Wait. 
I want to know the real you. This is the real me. I like hanging out. You know, lifting weights. I'm into my body. Look, what? We can talk, Chris. We can talk? just talk. I'm not feeling good, Roxanne. I gotta go. Oh. Tell her the truth, Chris. Be a man. Give the credit to whom it deserves. Give the credit to... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> just give the credit to CD. So? You coming or not? Yeah. Gonna tell her? I'll write her a letter. Roxanne called. She wants you to come over right away. Jerry, Are we concerned oh, about Jerry? He owes me 50 Jerry. bucks. What is it? Read this. Dear Roxanne, I've met somebody else and she's real cute too. I'm going to be a dealer in Tahoe. <laughs> Chris. And then I found this along with it under the door. And the handwriting's gonna be different? It was as though I had looked at the sun too long. I could close my eyes and see it, the way your hair moved, your dress, oh. everywhere I looked. To turn it over. C.D. wrote this, call me Dixie. Oh my gosh. Chris didn't write those letters, you did. All this time, right there in front of me. You yes! Oh, you could have figured it out. Also, now it's my fault. As much as it is mine. Because you wanted to believe it. You wanted it all. All wrapped up in a cute little nose and a cute little ass. A few frilly words and you're counting ceiling tiles. <gasps> I don't even consider that I went to bed with him. That's for goddamn sure it wasn't me. You son of a you bitch. Tough. How could you have said those things? I wasn't lying. I was trying to tell you how I felt about you. Just get out. And I am out. You get in. Out. Get in. Ten more seconds and I'm leaving. What did you say? Ten more seconds and I'm leaving. I thought you said earn more sessions by sleeving. <laughs> well, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I came out. Ten! Nine! Eight! Seven! What? What? What did I miss? There's a fire somewhere. Get in the gear. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's gonna sniff it out. <laughs> oh, what a strange, adorable movie. That's where I put Lossy. We got a burner, boys! <laughs> They're doing it! They're really doing it! Hey, yeah. You're all real goddamn firefighters now! Yeah. I would rather be with the people of this town than with the finest people in the world! <laughs> style and your nose charlie it doesn't quite work does it i went inside and i thought what it was about chris that attracted me it was how he made me feel but it wasn't him doing that to me it was you all these other men charlie they've got flat featureless faces no character no fire no nose i love your nose i love you charlie <gasps> How did they even come up with the idea of this movie? What a sweet movie! What a sweet, lovely, funny, different romantic comedy. I at first did not think I was going to like it, but I really, really did. Obviously not about a stripper or that song. It seemed kind of like cartoonish with like the boing, the noises and stuff, but you just root for him and he's so sweet and it makes you really think about how we see people. That line where he said, 
she wants my body with your words or something. That like is actually so heartbreaking because it shouldn't matter what we look like. It should matter our character and everyone loved Charlie that knew him. And I'm just so glad in the end it was a happy ending and that Roxanne saw him past the nose for who he was and he loved her and it was so cute. It was actually also hysterical. Like there was like really nuanced things like the one credit card in the toolbox or just the headphone scene, but then like outwardly funny, like the 20 jokes about his nose in the bar. I just thought it was so adorable and weird, but I loved it. And you know what I just realized? Nelson, I bet that was Nelson, BC, Canada. That's why it was so beautiful. What an adorable little town that was. It also could be Nelson, a made up town, but I'm going with Canada. So thank you to the patron who requested this. I did a poll recently about chick flicks that I haven't seen, which I love chick flicks, but I feel like there's so many hidden gems like this and I'm so glad that this was a pick. You know, it wasn't like the classic two beautiful, humans. It just had a whole other layer to it with also Steve Martin just being so cute and hilarious. To get deep for a second about this romantic comedy. I feel like we all have insecurities and sometimes can feel undeserving of love or good things in life and it's not true. Like we gotta believe that we deserve it and that it's what's in here that matters. I know it sounds corny, but I believe it. Anyways, thank you again for that fun suggestion and I will see you all again soon.